Fulford School is a high achieving school, but it's not a high achieving school in terms of the way it uses technology and in terms of its advancement of 21st century education. Our digital leader scheme started that two years ago. We've responded to demands that students were putting on us. They were asking to take more responsibility. They were asking to take some ownership of where we were going with IT. And we actively then went out and recruited our team of digital leaders to try and fulfil that dream that they had. And we've had a group of teachers looking at outstanding learning and teaching. And as part of that, the digital leaders worked with those 12 staff videoing a number of lessons. When they then videoed those lessons, all staff had seen them uh, and then we've had a whole year of discussions on those lessons and looking at aspects of what makes a good and an outstanding lesson and that's really moved the school forward and lots of staff have been really engaged in it. But the thing that has really surprised people, first of all staff here, has been the fact that actually these videos were made by students. Seeing the students videoing the lessons wasn't simply a case of getting people who could do the videoing in place, it was a sense that this is something that we're trying to do as a whole school. So we've got staff and we've got students working together in order to produce and to develop um, what we consider to be showcase lessons across the school which are then a conduit to discussion and then a conduit to improving the level of provision across the school and in turn students themselves could see how that was going to raise the quality of their achievement. All the trainee teachers have met up with the digital leaders and looked at the kinds of teaching applications, the kinds of new tools that are available that excite them, that they're interested in. Um, and they have been able to then use some of that, those tools in their own planning. They've watched established teachers use them and they've had a practice and they've planned um, the, and delivered lessons using new applications, which has provided a kind of upward spiral of confidence. Um, once they've found that they've used something and students have responded well and it's worked, um, they've tried out more things and they're, it's spreading like ripples in a pool that they're wanting to do more. Working with them has been inspirational, they're keen, they're enthusiastic, they've become role models within the school. Students want to be like them now, they want to have that impact that they're having. Staff want to work with them, parents want their students to be involved in this digital leader scheme. Um, now in terms of the impact on Ethan, as well as self-esteem and, and improvement in that, Obviously he's learnt a lot about technology through his involvement, lots of different software, lots of different hardware and its applications in the, in the school setting. He's also had uh, to, to rise to the challenge of teaching uh, not only other pupils but uh, adults and teachers within the school. So where next? We'd like to make the digital leaders have this whole school impact. At the moment we're working with departments that want to work with us. We want the digital leaders to be working with every department. There's the need out there, there's the demand out there, but we're hoping the digital leaders are the, are the, the answer to the question of how do they manage to do it. We want the digital leaders to work with the local community. Primary schools we want to be involved in this idea. We want them to work with parents to help support their use of IT. And we want it to grow from the foundations that we've already started into, into a big and wonderful beast. People looking at this would then be able to see here's an opportunity where this can be, they can see what happens very successfully here at Fulford School and then this can be transferred across to other schools. And then what we'd also look, when we talk about, especially when we talk about global, is to develop those links between ourselves and other schools, other institutions. And certainly one of the things we've looked to do is to set up links with schools in other countries.